Hello, my name is Peter. Welcome to another video. And today I want to talk about don't wait until everything is just right. It will never be perfect. Don't wait until everything is just right. It will never be perfect. First, I want to give you a proper greeting. So, so bang up somebody. Om Shanti. Peace to you. Peace to me. So, don't wait till everything is just right. How many times have I done that? No, I'm not ready for this yet. I'm not ready for this yet. I need to keep working on myself. Keep working, training, training harder, harder, harder. And then you delay, you delay, you delay. And then it's those opportunities, actually, when you push yourself into something you learn so quickly you learn so quickly when you push yourself out of your comfort zone into something that isn't perfect by any stretch of the imagination and you are not perfect by any stretch of the imagination but it's that learning curve getting the brain to, to go into overdrive and, and really see wow yeah 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 look at all these problems I can deal with them and then when we wait we're procrastinating we say, oh well maybe tomorrow I'll be ready tomorrow. I'll be ready tomorrow. Yeah. Everything will be right tomorrow. <laughs> no! Get it get out there. Give it to give it your best shot today. Okay, if it, if it's like uh, I don't know if you've got the PDF or something or a song you're working on, you don't want to chuck it out there before it's ready, but don't overwork it. As a songwriter myself, I used to overwork songs in the studio and until they're you know, absolutely note perfect but not an inch of life in them. <laughs> dead as a dodo. Dead as a dodo. Just dead. No life in the music at all, but perfect. Everything was perfect. So I was, I was working it until I thought it was perfect, but it wasn't. What I do now is you, you take, do a take, and if you like it after three goes, leave it. That's good. That's good. You might come back to it and go, oh, but then you go, okay, I see why I like that. And you're trying to listen to it with fresh ears is very difficult. But if, you're, if I'm waiting for this, me to do the perfect take of a song, very difficult, very difficult indeed. And you, you'll hear top producers saying how to get the best out of an artist. Well, not so much now, because you can auto-tune it. You just get them to give it a passionate rendition and then they can auto-tune it and make it sound however they want it to sound. <laughs> I don't know, I'm not sure that's an artist. Or you're just an avatar, I don't know. I don't know about the music business today. But if you're waiting for it to be perfect, it never will be. It never is. But that's that's why it's interesting to hear someone like William Henry he talks about the great arcanum and the perfection of your life. The perfection of your life really just means you getting rid of all these material attachments. Still caring about them, obviously, still caring about them, but getting rid of all these material attachments and letting yourself go. So it's like the great arcana is that what Jesus says about fitting through, fitting yourself through the eye of the needle, i.e. you turn into your energy body rather than having this physical, what they call the gross body, the physical body. You turn into your energy body where you can move through the eye of a needle. So you've got to wait for that to be perfect. No, your energy body is perfect now. Ready to go. It's all there. Don't worry about that. It's your learning that you have to do with the physical body. You've got two things going on here. Two things going on. Physical body and your energy body. And it's discerning between the two things. And there are masters on the planet who have said, right, I'm ready to go now. And they just lie down and they're off. Energy body's gone, so they're presumed to be dead. And yes, the, the physical body's dead, but no, they're gone. We just said, right, I'm going, bang, had enough of this. I've done my bit, I'm off. And there are masters who've done that, which is incredible. So they waited till they were per perfect, but they, you, you wouldn't look at them as a human being and go, well, you're not perfect. How come you can do that? <laughs> you can't do that. What are you talking about? Must be some pill he took or something. All these thoughts. <laughs> so, yeah, no, no, that's not right. It would be the same as me when I first get, started getting into all of this deeper concepts. You go, no, no, that can't be right. It's like seeing the guy who lit a piece of paper with his hand. He could warm up parts of his body so much he could actually ignite a piece of paper. When I first saw it, I go, nah, it's a scam. And then you realise when you start to change your body yourself with your mind you go whoa actually there's much more powerful our minds are much more powerful than we give them credit for 
So we should never ever wait until everything is perfect. We should jump in. Sometimes this is just the right thing to jump in and do whatever you can, the best you can, and learn. As long as you're learning from that experience, if you keep just jumping in and making a hash of it, and then jumping in again and making another hash of it, you're not learning. You, 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 you've got to actually start to improve yourself, and then you can jump in, even if it's not, you're not perfect, you'll learn quicker, so much quicker. So what I used to do with auditions, uh, I used to just jump in, or even interviews, job interviews. I used to I had a, uh, interview as a sales, salesman in, in a telephone sales. I didn't, I didn't do any research on the company I was going to work for. And they asked me that question, and I turned around confidently and said, well, that's what I'm here for, <laughs> you need to train me about your product, isn't it? Why do I have to do research on your product? Talk about arrogant. <laughs> But I jumped in and they, they, they took me on. They took me on, believe it or not, at the end of the day, because I was so confident, and so, a little bit arrogant, but confident, saying, well, this is your job, this is my job, I'll do my job properly, you do your job properly. So, and I wasn't ready for that interview, it wasn't perfect, but I got it. And I'm glad I did because it helped me realize I didn't want to do that anymore and I became a musician, which was, again, another great stepping stone for me. But it's not waiting, don't wait, why procrastinate? Just get on with it today. Whatever you want to do with your life, get on with it today because it's your life, you're the star of this life, you are the star of the show and it's only your life that is important because you can do so much good and so much bad if you want to, but so much good. But don't wait on it, do it, get on with it. The first, the journey of a thousand miles starts with the first step, so make your first step today. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. So thank you.